You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Have you ever tried to reach success only to keep falling down again and again? Welcome to Energetic Magic with your host, Shiraz. Shiraz is here to discuss the different ways our belief systems and the stories we tell ourselves create the reality we live in. Listen as Shiraz removes your limiting beliefs and changes your reality. So now, please welcome the host of Energetic Magic, Shiraz. Welcome to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I am Shiraz, and this week we are talking about creating life from now. It's kind of similar to what we did last week, but uh, you're going to see there's some different perspectives. Now, tonight I'm actually going through a major energetic shift, and uh, I'm in no condition to shift anyone. Luckily, I have brought along my business partner, protege, and go-to person when I need my energy shifts, because she's just as powerful as me, Karina Reeves. Say hi, Karina. Hi. I am so happy to be here, although I am not happy that you are being so uncomfortable. (laughs) It's all right. It happens. So, uh, yeah, so Karina and I are going to have some discussions around creating life from now. But if you have any questions, if you have beliefs that you need shifted, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. And I'm interested to see what happens because the last time I had Karina on the show, we had a record number of callers. So um, yes. it, instead of doing my intro of who I am, I'm going to let Karina tell her story and, uh, and what's going to happen on the show. And then we'll get going. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So I consider myself a lifelong self-help junkie. And the thing was, is a lot of the things that I was doing were fascinating and amazing and I couldn't get enough except I wasn't experiencing the changes that I wanted. So when, uh, five years ago, when I was having a divorce, I knew that I needed to call in the big guns and the universe brought me Shiraz. So we started working together and um, I just knew that it was the path I needed and it kept shifting big things. Um, More people came into my life that would help me. Um, I kept finding more ease and I kept taking more and more courses. Um, I also took other courses that have also added to the energetic magic. But what I'm loving is that he and I with, very, very similar tools can create a very different um, experience, but equally powerful. So I'm super excited to be here. I think doing energetic magic is something that can bring everyone to their next level and beyond, like layers of the onion. Um, It's so wonderful to get down a layer and then to discover what next thing you're going to work on. So that's my story in a nutshell with energetic magic. And I'm really excited to talk about this week's topic, creating life from now. So okay. in the same um, way. Before yeah. we continue, I'm picking up a lot of static when you're talking. Are we getting that in the studio as well? Or is it just me? Okay, so it's just okay. me, as long as I know. Okay. okay, perfect. Go ahead, Karina. <laughs> if it is static listeners, I apologize. I am on a headset. Um, doing my best over here. <laughs> so, um, so thinking about creating life from now, one of the cool things, just even introducing a little bit of my story and a little bit of how I got started with energetic magic, was that 
I made a decision in my life that I needed to, that need, things needed to shift. And next thing I knew, almost that quickly, I met the person who recommended talking to Shiraz. And then his next event lined up. And then I went to the event and was blown away. So in some ways, you could look at calling in what you want or making that decision or just deciding something needs to change or even even you can know exactly what you want to have changed. Some people want to call in a romantic partner or more money or something very, very specific. I was looking to shift my operating system in the world. Um, but when you make that decision, that's what sets into motion these chains of events and in many ways that's what I consider creating life from the now. Some people are wanting to go to coaching or therapy or get support when things are difficult and I, I really get that. Um, there's a lot of things that are happening in the world right now that are really challenging. I, I, I almost feel that the resurgence and like complete blossoming of interest in spirituality and self-help and self-development, I think is a reflection of this desire on, in the, on the planet right now, in the world, for raising our vibration. I think it's also part of why there are so many um, crazy things happening, negative things happening, huge worldwide humanity um, horror stories happening is because we are we are in the struggle now to raise our vibration, which at the same time will activate the the counter um, forces to that. So when we look at creating our own lives from now and we look at wanting our next step, um, when it's coming from wanting to fix things, wanting to improve things, one of the struggles I think for the individual is that what you have created up till now is still what you're comfortable with. You may, um, it's like you're uncomfortable and comfortable with it at the same time because when things are familiar, that is one kind of comfort, even as you're too tired or you don't like being broke or your partner's a jerk or whatever those day-to-day -day discomforts are. So when you look into creating your life from now, and you're coming from a place of not liking what your life is like, I think it's really valuable and important to be kind to yourself that you are taking a huge step, that as uncomfortable as you are with the life that you currently have, something about it has been working for you or would have already shifted. So as you think about wanting to change things, just being patient and, you're, and kind to yourself that there may be new things that come up, new pushback that occurs in your life. Things, I mean, cliches are a cliche for a reason, right? So things may get worse before they get better. And one of the skills that happens that I'm talking about right now is the skill of being kind to yourself and holding loving space with what is, what is occurring as you are looking to move forward. So I just want to talk for one more minute about this holding space, loving yourself piece. So one of the most important things I learned in becoming a coach, both through Shiraz and in a big year-long coaching program that I took last year, was what it feels like to hold loving space for another person. And one of the things that I realized was that holding space for another person was actually the first part that was easy, was easier, and then the next part, the next step, was holding loving space for myself, and that was actually harder. So when you think about holding space for someone else, one of the things that you need to be aware of is judgment. Um, and judgments can happen on a lot of different layers. So judgments in where they should be, how they should look, 
what they should sound like, what they should be doing. And when you're able to clear away those judgments, you're able to start to have this clear space between you. And that clear space is the same thing that you want to be creating for yourself. That clear space is what takes away the resistance and the pushback for when you want to start creating something new, start stepping into a different life, start making those decisions that will start you down a path to, to where you really like to go. Great. So, so we're going to take a yeah. break now. But when we come back, we'll take callers. If, and the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. So this is Shiraz and Karina on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. And we'll be right back. Hi, my name is Myra Fox and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540-999-8401. Thank you. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted. And every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, no, there is hope. There is help there is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful happy. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. I am Shiraz here with Karina talking about creating life from now. And if you have any blogs, any beliefs you want to work on, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. And I'm feeling a lot of resistance in the audience now to some changes going on. Hello, Karina, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, so let me just um, I'm going to tap into that. As if anybody's new to the show, uh, bodies sometimes do interesting things when we're clearing. So Shiraz's modes are yawning and coughing. I don't cough so much. I have sneezed. I've done some sneezing clearings lately. But I'm also a yawner. I do a lot of yawning, and you won't be able to see it, but my body actually does some, I call them shutter, like shutters. The shutters does a bit of shuddering. Um, so what I'm picking up from the audience and audience, if this resonates with anyone, please feel free to call in at 866-451-1451. What I'm picking up is, um, well, maybe it was easy for you or, um, it's not as easy as you're saying. It's really hard and it's really, you know, if I could, I would, and there's just so many reasons why I... Oh, there it is. Deep. So, so, audience, the belief that there are so many reasons, ah, that there are insurmountable reasons why you can't shift and change into the life that you really want. Are you willing to destroy that belief? And that's going to shift for a couple more seconds. <gasps> All right. Good work, everyone. Okay. So, you, me, and the lamppost. I get it. 
it occurs as hard because you haven't done it yet. And so here's, here's the muscle I would love you to consider, you to consider working with, exercising, flexing, trying on. So part of tonight's title is Creating Life from Now. And I'm going to offer that creativity can be a gateway into shifting things. So creativity is literally something from nothing, creating from materials that are around you, having an idea and running with it. Creativity can happen in lots of ways. And I will say one thing about that before we move on with actually creating things is I have heard over and over people say, wow, I'm not creative. I mean, I just, you know, I don't have a creative bone in my body. And I might hear that more than other people. My my training is actually as a classical cellist and I still perform. And so when people know that I'm a musician, they're like, oh, you're so lucky. That's so amazing. I don't have a creative bone in my body. And here's what I'm going to call. I'm going to call nonsense. Everybody is creating their lives. And I'm going to offer that we can have, you can have way more fun with it than maybe you're giving yourself space to. So try this on. Would it be fun to be creative picking your outfit in the morning? Would it be fun being creative, really being open to being inspired for what dinner you're going to make? Would it be fun to take a different route on your way to work? Maybe you're going to discover a shortcut. Maybe you'll discover the best bolognese ever. Maybe you'll discover that that sweater actually looks really cute with that skirt. All of those steps and a hundred more that you do every day are are acts of creativity. You're making a choice, you're making a decision, and it is turning into action in the world. So the offer is that if you become conscious of where you are creative, where you do have space to to own your say, your preference, your desire, your creation in your life, if you start to be conscious of that gap, that window, that electricity of creation that you are making and how your life occurs, I have this sneaking suspicion that that will expand your feeling of (laughs) not only accomplishment, but possibility for the things that you can create. So I think we need to go to break and let's talk a little bit more after break, exploring more ways to be creative and to have lots of creative bones in your body. (laughs) Okay. Actually, we have a little bit more time. And, oh, okay. Ooh, yeah. So, ooh, sorry, I'm shuddering all over the place here. <laughs> I'm doing a Karina sh- shudder. <laughs> so thinking ooh. about, you know, if we even take what's happening to Shiraz right now, he is going, something is changing. We don't know what it is yet. He is super uncomfortable but part of the cool thing is he knows his body well enough to know that he will recover this will flow and he's in awareness and allowance of what's happening to him so if we take the smaller scale of being aware that you would like more flow more fun you know what are the things that you think creating your life from now will allow And as you start being more aware of the places in your life where you do have a say, that means you're becoming aware of the places where you have room for creativity. And somebody who I've been listening to lately, um, it started with listening to Kyle Cease, but I now, who I adore, and now I'm listening um, to a book by Matt Kahn, K-A-H-N. And the name of the book is Whatever Arises, Love that. So just like I started at the beginning saying, if you'd, if you'd had room to shift, you would have shifted already. And so now we're expanding the creativity gap. We're expanding that fun. And sometimes if it's not in a place of fun, you have pushback and you have resistance. So all of those places, what would it feel like that whatever is coming up, if it's fun, you love that? But also if it's resistance and uncomfortable, if you love that too. 
So I think now we're ready for a break and mm-hmm. we're going to talk more about loving where you're at after the break. This is BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. And this is Shiraz and Karina. Horses, mystical, present, past and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Jenny Friend is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified clinical sexologist, commonly known as a sex therapist, with over 30 years of experience in the field of sexuality. She's been a researcher and teacher and is further trained in human development over the lifespan. She's also a published author and a radio personality. Her specialized training in lifespan developments means she can help individuals, couples, and families through difficult developmental phases. Her primary ways of working are through the tools of cognitive, behavioral, and psychoenergetics theories and techniques. Couples, individual men and women, and families are also welcome. She can meet in her office in Costa Mesa, California, or on the Internet through Skype at Jenny Friend MFT. Call 714-210-9200. You can also send an email from her website at www.centerforclarity.org. That phone number again is 714-210-9200. Hey, everyone. This is Karina. I'm joining Shiraz on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. This is the Energetic Magic Radio Show. And we would love to hear from you. The call-in number is 866 866- Four five one one four five one, and today we're talking about creating life from now. And Arthur has called in. Hey, Arthur. Hi, Karina. Amazing. So, what's uh, what's present and alive for you right now? What's present is um, I find that I can hold space for pretty much anyone I meet after the last workshop we did on the weekend, but I'm not really sure how to hold space for myself and when is a good time to do it or do you just do it all the time when you're away from other people? Yeah, okay, got it. So it really resonated with you when I was talking earlier that it's actually (laughs) easier to hold space for other people than it is for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. (laughs) So, hmm. So something that I've learned, and there might be a better name for it, but I call it toggling kind of a funny word, but I find that if you do have a really solid experience in one arena, part of you is able to sort of hold and translate that experience into another arena. So even even with your imagination, you know, our brains are so powerful, they they can actually the, our brain actually feels as though we're doing an activity when we watch it. We have something called mirror neurons. Um, that's a separate topic. But what I meant, what I'm talking about right now is that you can remember and imagine in your mind that you're holding space for someone. So as you come into that space, you're sitting quietly, mm-hmm. you're feeling peaceful, and you imagine that um, literally a space You can imagine it being the universe or just this beautiful, huge, gentle container. And it's very clear inside that space. Um, Like, I I often feel within that space the way I do in nature. So the way I feel in a big open field or staring at clouds in the sky just has this sort of very peaceful, open feeling. And it sounds like that's something you're able to get with another person. And then just... Put the two thoughts as close to each other in your mind and you just sort of 
gently step into the other space. Okay, so now if I'm the one in this space, if I'm holding space for myself, am I able to step into that same space? Really, the space is the space. So you could step into the field with yourself. You can step into the open sky and feel all that spaciousness around you where you can feel love and you can feel connection to the universe, kindness, um, belonging, safety, all those beautiful things. So do I hold space for myself all the time or when do I do it? Um, I am feeling, I do notice it coming in more and more, but there's sort of different levels. So um, there's a level of just enjoying being peaceful in the world. And it's really not that far off from holding space, but it's less a holding and more of a being. So I really enjoy the being. Um, it's very much the in the now, the being present, the experiencing what there is to experience. I'm not worrying about where I have been or where I'm going. So that has a, has similar sensations um, of spaciousness and love and belonging and all of those things, but there's less of a conscious, the holding of space for another really almost literally has this feeling of holding. So I'm just getting some feelings from the audience. Let me just tap into that for a second. <gasps> Okay, so what I'm getting is that all sounds easy if there isn't anything difficult happening. Okay, that's cool. So, how, so Arthur, if it's okay, I'm just going to just address this just a slightly different way of how do I hold space of all this love and acceptance and, and safety if if things are feeling challenging and I think that it's a little bit more of a progression. So I think if when we get triggered or when we're uncomfortable or things are difficult, I think that that's um, the space you need to address first. You, I think soothing yourself, comforting yourself, um, giving yourself, you know, things that feel good to you. Are you someone who likes to go for a walk or always a deep breath is a good idea? So you want to bring your nervous system back to an equilibrium. I don't think you are able to hold space super well if you're triggered and in fight or flight or anxious. So mm -hmm. the first thing you need to do to hold space is to be in that calm state of mind. So the belief that if I'm going to have a good life, I should be able to hold space all the time. Are you willing to destroy that belief? Ooh. Yeah, because there's, there's a bit of a push energy to that too, right? Um, if If I'm supposed to have a good life and holding space helps me feel like things are going well, then I should hold space all the time, then that's oh, a, a holding like a grip. Do you know what I mean? Karina. Yeah. Um, actually, I found after Energetic Magic Level 1, I was able mm -hmm. to hold, like not hold space, but just be in that being that you mentioned pretty much all yeah. the time and nothing bothers me. So I'm like, I don't even see a point in holding space, but I, I just realized it could be another dimension that could be a tool for at some point would be useful or like I, it's easy for me to get in that being to admire the sky or whatever's around me or just be happy being me that's very easy for me but just like but then I guess holding space is something you would do when you're in a difficult situation is that what I'm getting from you correctly you know what that's actually not exactly what I meant um, so um, let's see. So first yeah, of all, that's really great that, that you're feeling really comfortable in yourself. Why don't we look a little bit more at this after the break and see when is the time to hold space for others and when is the time to hold space for yourself. Okay, that sound good? 
Thank you. Okay, perfect. So this is the BBM Global, Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. And this is Karina. We've been talking to Arthur, and we'll talk some more after the break. Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story is a passionate book that tells the true story of author Rhonda Knudsen's journey through the darkness and adversity of abuse. The book takes readers on an emotional trail from the depths of despair to the heights of forgiveness and understanding. She was inspired to help others, and her book is a vital tool through this process. Faithful to God and devotional to her beacon of hope, Rhonda Knudsen is a perfect example of finding a guiding light that helped her come through the dark and into the light. Her book can assist you in overcoming your challenges with abuse. The publication of Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story, is a triumphant achievement, and it can help you take ownership of your own experience of abuse and come through stronger than before. Rhonda is currently working on two more books, Shadows of Corruption and Coast to Coast on a Piece of Toast. To read more about this inspiring author and purchase her books, visit RhondaKnutson.com or go to www.amazon.com. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. Yeah, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416 529 7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well, be aware, be magical. everyone, this is Karina on the Energetic Magic Radio Show. We're at BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And the number to call is 866-451-1451. We are talking about creating life from now. And I'm talking to Arthur, and we're talking about the difference between holding space for other people, holding space for ourselves, and when, when should we do any of that? So I just wanted to reach back just for a second and what you were saying, Arthur, about um, feeling great all the time. That's awesome. And then you had something about not being sure about why you would hold space for other people. And I, oh, no, you know, for I myself. Have, oh, for yourself. Okay, cool. I misunderstood. Okay, perfect. Um, and then just before the break, remind me what you had said. You were saying, so do I hold space for myself all the time? Remind me again what your question was. Uh, I think it changed over since we did talk about it a bit, but originally I had, I can be in that space of beingness, of enjoying life and myself and what I'm doing all the time, pretty much. No, literally all the time. And I just wonder, like, is it, is holding space like an exaggerated form of that? And if not, then when would I apply it? Like during a difficult situation, and like like I actually burned my hand a bit uh, while cooking today, and I just found mm-hmm. absolutely no stress, no anything. So I'm like, do I even need to hold space? Because I just everything, even contrast coming into my life, it's so easily dealt with, and everything's so smooth and magical. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually I'm just calling for curiosity and fun. I guess I don't really have to yeah. Control. I think that I think the audience is a little bit jealous. There's some definitely some reactions going on out there. Um, so, for me, when I'm holding space for other people, there's really a sense of me tucking my ego in my back pocket, which occurs to me as judgment, and then I'm able to sort of. The word that's occurring to me is wholeheartedly listen, absorb, love, and be with the person that I'm talking to. So, yeah. So how does it feel to you to hear that holding space doesn't have any judgments? I feel I don't judge myself or others at all. I wonder if this is true. 
because in my mm. past, like so many years of my life, I did it so much. But I'm just walking around loving everybody, everything, whether it's people I used to judge, like a homeless person or an overweight person or someone who drinking alcohol on the subway or whatever. I just love everybody. So I don't really have that judgment problem right now. That's great. I know that that's, you know, you just said that's something that you'd had in the past. So keep going, keep enjoying not being in judgment. And I'm curious, you know, let us know in a couple of weeks. I'm curious how being in this space of loving and not having judgment, I'm curious if, you know, you'll be called to help more or if you'll have bigger connections or if you'll have things move forward in other parts of your life. You know, I remember reading about Eckhart Tolle, and when he had his first Power of Now breakthrough, and I'm sure many of you know the story better than I do, so if I muck up some details, forgive me. But one of the things that I remember was apparently he sat on a park bench for almost three months, and just, it sounded like he just was in bliss, savoring the present moment. So that was like my life. And actually, maybe, Marina, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I actually was able to do that over the last, day and like last few days I was able to do energy and magic on people and we're hugging at the end of the day and uh, just the two people I did energy and magic with we hugged and people felt massive relief over uh, year, years and years and years of pain relief on stuff like that and it's just amazing life and, and going home back to my house uh, my, my parents who I live with treat me with so much respect and love and such a great attitude. It's I, my life is so good. I don't. That's uh, beautiful. Yeah. So it's already kind of happening. <laughs> That's beautiful. And now you can enjoy it, and you can ask what's next, and and just be aware of tracking how your ego is doing. Um, you know, are you offering energetic magic to people because they're asking, or is it because? You think they even thinking somebody needs it can be a form of ego. So just keep tracking your ego, um, especially as you're sounding so blissed out. Just I invite you to experiment with seeing what comes your way, seeing what people ask you in the same way that um, active listening is that you're actively listening to the other person and only speaking when they ask you something. I'm curious what your life might occur occur as with the same spaciousness of letting people come to you. I'm curious what might happen. Mm, definitely. That sounds very inviting. Like, can we get cool. a little bit back to the original question, which is, what is holding space for yourself? And am I already doing it, but it's unconscious? Or what is it sounds very conscious. Yourself? You sound quite aware that you're mm. holding space for yourself. Um, yeah, no, like I said before, I think that it becomes more a matter of being, just being in the moment as opposed to holding space for yourself. For me, so, what, I'm, yeah. what I'm doing is not really judging people and saying, oh, you need my help, but rather I actually just see um, everybody as being the highest possible being. And That's because not I coming up as true. Sorry. Oh, really? Okay, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Okay, I think. Yeah. Mm. So, what if you simply looked at people as they are? So, instead of everybody being the highest self, everybody being deities incarnate, everybody being pure love, what if we're all just human beings doing our best? We're just on a spectrum of of highs and lows and some days are better than others and we're all looking forward to our next discovery and expansion some people think that once you reach enlightenment um you might not even exist on the earth anymore um so just giving yourself the space so you don't have to hold space but I think you could give yourself more space of just observing and discovering and leaning back a little bit and seeing what happens. How does that feel? Sounds amazing. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for calling in, Arthur. This is Karina with Shiraz on the BBM Global Network. 
iHeart and TuneIn Radio, and this is the Energetic Magic Radio Show. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit, whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations. Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Hi, everyone. This is Karina with Shiraz and the Energetic Magic Radio Show on BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And we just finished talking with Arthur. And the number to call, if anything is coming up for you, curious, or any kind of questions that have happened, are eight, is 866-451-1451. And today's topic is creating life from now. So it was funny, just as we were getting ready for the call, we realized that Sean, the producer, has a necklace. And he's like, oh, my gosh, my necklace says live in the moment. And one of the things about creating life from now, so for the first half of the show, we really talked about the creating part. And then as we were just wrapping up with Arthur, I just realized that, you know, we're talking about Eckhart Tolle. And his whole thing is the power of now being in the now. So... One of the things that I find really interesting is given that the premise of energetic magic is that your your beliefs create your reality. And so it's like the it's like we're we're carrying our suitcases with us. Everybody knows about that I've got my baggage. And so energetic magic is this way of letting go of your baggage. And so if you're able to really let go of some of the beliefs then you're able to move forward with how you'd like to from the now. And I think that there's some, there's a very, there's a dance of discomfort that happens between the desire for moving from now and then feeling the resistance that's coming from, from the baggage of the stories that you're carrying with you. And so one of the things, it may be the most important teaching, or maybe the one that I just use the most often from Shiraz, is two words, and it's awareness and allowance. And so a lot of the reasons why I think people don't feel in playful, flowing energy of creativity in their lives is that we're too aware of the problems that had happened in the past and the possible problems that are going to happen in the future. And I think we literally talk ourselves out of our genius, our capacity for innovation. We talk ourselves back into safety and into hiding our vulnerability. You know, if you don't really want something, if it doesn't mean a lot to you, 
then it doesn't really matter. And I see that eh, it doesn't matter attitude all over the place. And I think that I don't care, whatever. I think that that attitude has become a cultural expression of the fear, of the vulnerability of actually wanting something. Brene Brown calls it being in the arena. And I don't have her beautiful speech from... from oh, that's giving some big shifts. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So the belief that it's too scary and too vulnerable to actually admit the life you really want. Are you willing to destroy that belief? We don't like we don't like the feeling of maybe it'll hurt. Who who signs up for for a needle or what are some other things that getting your teeth filled or or some other things that hurt? Um, if you've dislocated your shoulder, you know you have to kind of agree to some pain to get get the functionality, get your body flowing again. And now I in no way believe that there has to be pain or discomfort if you're starting to move into some, some new ways of being. But like we talked about earlier, sometimes that resistance is something that we need to move through and deserves a lot of love. So, okay. Oh, good work, everyone. And it's funny you're okay. saying that because... What I'm what I'm going through, there is um, I could be in a lot of resistance to it. Yeah. But I know it's it's a process that I'm going through. It's an upgrade to a new and better being, and so I'm just like, well, let's just bring it on. Let's let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there was a time in my life where I would be like, what the hell is going on? Make it stop. Make it stop. But it's you know, the more you practice this, the more you go through these experiences and, and then look and go, oh, that actually wasn't so bad, the more you allow more and more experiences to come up like that. Yeah, and I love the word that you said about upgrade. Um, Sometimes, you know, the molecules ooh. need to rearrange themselves if they're going to be created in a new way. Okay, still shift this. Yep. <laughs> oh, everybody. Okay, so... The belief that I have to go through discomfort to have an upgrade. No, you, you're willing to destroy that belief. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's really hitting people. Yeah. So, no, you don't have to. And if it's happening, if what is, is that it's uncomfortable right now, what do you think will have it move more easily going, okay, this is happening. I wonder what's going to happen next and taking care of yourself or going, this is terrible. This, I might die. This is the worst thing ever. And having all that added emotional. Oh yeah, there it is. <gasps> so the belief that, ah, uh, Okay, we're going to start with this one. I think there's a couple of clearings coming up right now. So the belief that panic is a necessary protection against doing the wrong thing. Are you willing to destroy that belief? <gasps> okay, let me, that one, let me let that one just settle. There's another one just biting on the heels. <sighs> Ah, the, uh, the belief that I won't know, um, that I won't know what, if, um, the belief that I won't know that this is happening to me for the better unless I get a really big reaction. It feels a little counterintuitive, but it's hitting home, so we're let that shift. Are you willing to destroy that belief? <sighs> And are you willing to step out of the story that it's all going to end in disaster and tears? Are you willing to step out of that story? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. 
really getting them there. So <laughs> yeah. let's take a let's take a final the only break way and forward then, is through. Oh good. And we'll come back and sum up what's going on today. So this is Shiraz and Karina on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it if you're a person caring for someone living with dementia then this program is for you it's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving the foundation of care susan Kohler believes is communication Innovative Dementia Care with Susan Kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one, increase quality interactions, decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. Hey everyone, this is the Energetic Magic Radio Show. This is Karina and I'm helping out tonight because Shaz is having a huge body shift and we were just talking before the break that this is, he's kind of getting an upgrade. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's a little bit more challenging, but that's what's happening and he's really practicing being in awareness of what's happening and allowance of what's happening. And then even as uncomfortable as it is, you know, there's a taste um, of adventure as well. There's a taste of like Christmas morning. What's going to happen next? Um, Mm -hmm. We never know what's on the other side. Anything can happen in a day. Any, you could meet anyone. You could meet someone who would change your life. You could have an idea that could change the world. There's a saying, a beautiful woman, I can't remember her name, but it's some, the quote is something like, never doubt that you can make a difference. As, as, in fact, the only, the only groups of people that ever made differences were small groups of people. And I have completely butchered that quote. Somebody write in and tell me what it's supposed to be. But the point is, is that, you know, each of the developments that we've had, we are at such a technological high right now, but everything was a stepping stone that came from something else. Everything builds on what came before and things are speeding up more and more and more. And what that means is, is moving forward, we have so much potential, so much possibility. And we can, when we're creating life from now, we can just, you know, it almost sounds like we can, we can make a few assumptions. We can, we can have some trust. We can have some faith. We can know that we're safe. We can let ourselves be creative. We can let ourselves be vulnerable. And then as we feel any fear, any discomfort, we can know that actually that is stuff coming up to be burned away. What if the discomfort that comes from being creative and vulnerable are fears from the past coming up 
to be burned away, to flow out of you so that you can go with more freedom into your future, more creativity, more sweetness, more fun and flow. That sounds so great. That, yeah, what do you think, Chaz? Oh, no, that's, you just make it look sound like, okay, bring on life. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> Well, I, I always prefer laughing to crying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although I do cry a lot for the record, but I consider it also releasing. <laughs> That's one of her favorite ways to release. Yeah, it's a good one. Beautiful. And it's uncomfortable. And then don't we all feel better after a good cry? Oh, my goodness. It's like a rain shower. Everything smells so sweet afterwards. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, and oh, I just want to thank you for coming on the show and helping me out. And, uh, My just absolute like pleasure. Little... I hope you feel better soon. Oh, I know I will. I've been through a shift like this before. And I, I know what to expect now. But uh, we, are, <laughs> we are doing a, uh, a class after this at 8.30. You can find it on energeticmagic.com. It's... Uh, Altering your reality with greater ease. So if that interests you at all, uh, get on the call and sign up and uh, see you in half an hour. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for joining in. We look forward to hearing, to talking to you next week at the same time on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. This is the Energetic Magic Radio Show at 7 o'clock on Tuesdays. So be well, be aware, and be magical. You've been listening to Energetic Magic with your host, Shiraz. What if by changing the beliefs that you don't even realize you have, you could create magic in your life? Listen each week as Shiraz will help you identify and remove those subconscious beliefs, releasing the hold they have on you, here on Energetic Magic. been listening to the bbm global network the ideas views and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas views and opinions of the bbm global network company